Hey there YouTube, what you can hear in the background right now is my 3D printer which has just been updated to the Sailfish firmware. So the Sailfish firmware is still sort of in beta which means it's very hard to get your hands on and it's even harder to put on a, a non-genuine MakerBot printer. In this case I have a CTC printer and I can tell you right now it was a pain in the ass to get the software on here. But anyway I managed it and this is how you do it. So the first thing you'll the first things first, if you've got the MakerBot software installed, so MakerBot desktop, you'll need to open that up. Uh, and when that loads, you'll go to services and you'll click stop background service. You have to do this. It doesn't matter if the program's running or not, you have to do that. Once you've done that, you can close down that software, you'll never have to actually use it again. So that's closed down. Next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download some software. Now, I've included this zip folder in a link down below. When you download that and unzip it, you'll get this file folder. And in here is two programs. Two almost the same programs, but one is a beta version and one is the proper version. In this case, the first thing you'll do is you'll install Replicator G40. Once you've installed this, it'll ask to install a program called Python. Just skip that, it doesn't really matter at this point, you don't need Python, so just install it without installing Python. And when that's installed, what you'll then do is open it up. So, Replicator G, the one installed on your computer. And when you've connected to it, just disconnect if it automatically connects to your printer, and go to Machine Type, and select Replicator 2X. Even though your CTC printer is a clone of the Replicator Dual, select the 2X. Then go to Upload New Firmware. And what you'll then do is actually select the Replicator 2 again. And you'll click Next, and you'll click 7.6. Now, this is actually the first Sailfish firmware. Now, bear in mind, when you install this firmware, its printer is not going to work. The screen won't work anything, and in fact, the heated bed may well start heating up. So you don't want to install this firmware and then leave it running because the heated bend will just get hot. Uh, so when you click 7.6, click Next, select your COM port, click Next, and then you, what you do at this point is there's a little button on the back of the CTC printer hidden away. You'll press that and as soon as you press that button you click Upload. And if you get your timing right, it'll start uploading the firmware. Now it won't say anything, it'll just look like it's frozen, but if you have the printer on its side and you're actually looking at the underneath, you'll see some green lights flashing away to indicate that the firmware's updating. If it continues on and does the BP tune to say that it's turned on, then your timing wasn't correct, so you need to do it again. Um, if it doesn't work, if it says some sort of error, then unplug the printer, plug it back in, and try again. Anyway, so now you've installed 7.6 firmware for the wrong printer. Now you'll find that the printer screen doesn't work, buttons don't work, and the heated bed may well be heating up. Don't worry though, because it's just a temporary step. So once you've installed that firmware, you'll actually close down Replicator G, the installed version. And now you'll click on Replicator G.exe. And so this is the Sailfish firmware software version. And what you'll do now is select your printer. So you will select the Replicator Jewel, which says Sailfish. That means it's now on the Sailfish firmware. And once you've selected that, you'll go to Upgrade, Upload New Firmware, and select your board this time around, which I can find the thing. Uh, to do. Uh, I think I've just got parts to have a line. I'm just being blind. There it is. And you'll notice that your firmware isn't there. But don't worry. So what you'll need to do now is go to File, Preferences, Advanced, and you see there it says this. What you'll do is type in this. Now if you're on Windows you can skip typing it in by pressing Control C to copy this from the description of the video and when you click on here press Control V and it'll paste the whole thing in. You can't do right click copy, right click paste, it just won't work. 
So once you've typed it in, you just click close. Nothing else to it. And now you'll see that it says new updates. If it says uh, unable to connect to the internet, something along those lines, then you've done something wrong and I suggest you start again. Or turn off your firewall. So now you click upload new firmware. And you'll notice the selection has changed. You'll now select MakerBot Replicator 1 Single and Dual. When you select that, you come to this. So you notice the firmware versions have also changed. And you'll pick 7.6. Click Next, COM3. Click the button on the back of the printer and click Upload. And once you've done that, it'll start uploading 7.6. And that's how you do it. That's how you get the selfish firmware onto your printer. Now, it's a completely ridiculous way to have to do it, but hey ho, at least it works. So, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you feel very generous, maybe a little donation to PayPal. And um, any questions again, just ask. Thank you for watching.